guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me so in today's video I am so excited because I am going to do several projects all at once let's get through them there are some that are gonna be gifts and some that are gonna be for me so go ahead grab yourself a drink get cozy get some snacks and let's start creating okay so let's go ahead and start with this super sweet SVG it says hello spring and I just love this type of line art I am so gravitated towards it I think because it looks simple modern clean streamlined do you know what I mean so I love all kinds of different line arts so I'm gonna be placing this this I believe um, let me see this was two different um, SVGs the top portion was one and then I brought in another one both of them I believe are from Creative Fabrica and I am gonna be placing it on this wooden distressed rustic looking wood sign um, I'm trying to think of where I bought it but it doesn't really say but it is an 8 by 10 kind of wooden sign so I thought that my SVG would look really really pretty on here so let's go ahead I'm going to go ahead and just um, clean this off and then we will burnish the um, SVG design and we'll go ahead and get it pressed on Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video super quick to let you know about a new goal that I've recently established for my channel. Now, I'm looking at attaining an additional 300 subscribers in the next few months. What? I know, I know. It's a lofty goal, right? But I really think that we can do it together. So how can you help? You can help by doing three small things. The first thing is hitting that like button on this video, then clicking on that subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, all you need to do is hit the like button on this video. It's even easier. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, simple things but mean so much. I would really appreciate your support. So. Are you ready to be on this gold journey with me? All right, let's do it. Okay, back to the video. so now it's all on and what's interesting about this is that the panels the wood panels themselves they're very uneven like it's noticeably uneven um, it looks like it was not when they assembled it they didn't do it flush so definitely I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just grab let me see where it is I'm gonna grab my finger blade and I'm just going to assist it so let's see so wherever my lines are, I'm just going to cut it. There we go. There we go. So it looks better and it feels better. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see see the difference between the two? So anyway, I'll go ahead and I'll do that. But the design is just absolutely beautiful. I love this so much. All right, guys, so let's see. I'm going to think about maybe adding some flowers. I'll think about it, and then I'll circle back to it and see what we come up with. 
Okay, the next little project that I have is this Housewood sign from Dollar Tree. They've had this forever. Um, every time I go, I like to pick up several of these because these are fantastic blanks to do so many different things with it. So, oh, I'm sorry. This isn't Dollar Tree. This is Target. My apologies, Target. I still, I, I always pick them up when I see them. And this one here was $3. Now, I haven't seen these in a little bit. But um, certainly when I do, I like to pick them up because we can certainly do lots and lots of different things. So I came across this on Creative Fabrica and I absolutely love this. And I thought that would be super cute to place right there and then I'll place this on my coffee bar. So let's go ahead and get the blank all cleaned up and then we'll get our transfer tape applied to our design and then we'll go ahead and just add it on so let's go ahead I'm just bringing in again my alcohol and let's get this nice and cleaned up now again this particular blank has the wood slats which I love but you just need to pay extra attention to the designs because you will have that little gap right there so okay nice and cleaned up let's go ahead and grab my transfer tape and I'm going to use the transfer tape that I used last time let's see if that works um Let's see. Oh, should I? Should I not? I did a wood project and it does have some. Oh boy. It does have some wood on it. You know what? Let's go ahead and try it, right? Worst case scenario, I will have to redo it. But I'm going to try now. Normally, I would have other transfer tape kind of handy, which I kind of do, but. I'm lazy and I just want to see if this is going to work. So again, this was from a previous one. Let's go ahead and just get this well burnished down. I love this design. Oh my goodness. You're going to see several projects with these designs, these types of designs. Okay, so this, that. See, I got lots of little wood pieces here. Okay, and all right, so let's see if we can get it up fairly easy. Let's see. Now, luckily, this design, although it looks intricate, I what I did was when I, after I uploaded it, I went ahead and kind of sliced it so it was one design instead of, and I'll show you, but it has like little flowers and they were meant to be like, you would cut out white flowers. Um, but honestly, I didn't want to do that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make it easy for myself. And I am just going to slice the mini designs. And that way I don't have to worry about it. And I don't have to deal with multiple layers. There, we got little dots all over the place that are meant to be um, in the middle of the flowers. So, let's see here. Not bad. My transfer tape is working out okay so far. Okay, it's just those little itsy bitsy dots that you see right there in the middle of the flower. Some of them are really small, like that one. So, let's do that. I think besides Christmas, right, I think spring is my most favorite season. I love all the beautiful colors. They're just happy colors, you know, whether you go for regular colors or the pastel -y types. Oh my goodness, I just, just absolutely love it. Okay, so let's see, I'm at the end here. One little, oop, come on, get that little dot little dot come on work with me 
I've been trying to find a um, an SVG for a jelly tote bag. I'm trying to find one that's free. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't have to pay for it. Although they're super cheap. But you know, wherever you can find free SVGs is always a good thing. That's why I love my Creative Fabrica. This is not sponsored by any means. Um, but I do, I am a part of their yearly subscription. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see, where do I want to place it? I think right about there. I want to try and make sure that my head is not in the way. Let's see, right about there. Let me see. I'm just going to hold it up. Yep, that looks, wait, does, yeah, that looks good. Okay. So the middle and then go out. Okay. And then let's just go ahead and just burnish it down. Isn't this color so, so pretty? Oh my goodness. I'm definitely loving the teals or the mint green. I don't know which way you call it because honestly it has different names on different sites. But I absolutely love this color. And with a soft, soft pink, it's so pretty. Okay, so that's good, I think. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's get this pulled up. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love this. Now, let me just show you something. Where is my little... Oh, here it is. Okay, so you know how this picture, um, this wood sign has slats. I love that. It's kind of like the farmhouse, um, the slated wood look. Again, you're adding designs. You just need to be careful. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just use my finger blade and slice through those two. Let's see, do I want to slice it? Um, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it because honestly, I'm liking, get some of this wood out here. I'm kind of liking the depth that it's giving it, but look at that. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And this is something that you don't see all the time. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up and then I'll bring in another project. Okay, so here is my next project. Now, honestly, I don't even know where I bought this. Um, I'm going to say probably Target, um, but a very long time ago. This I've had out and about for quite some time. And every time I look at it, I kind of say to myself, all right, I want to do something different with this. So, this is how pretty. Now, let me go ahead and I'll take out the SVG and let me show you kind of what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? I love this. And it's just now you can, if you wanted, you can take out the wood. You can um, paint it with some chalk paint. It does have little itsy bitsy screws. I'm not going to do that. I like the, the look of like a bamboo type style um, wood. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. But I am going to go ahead and clean it up because like I mentioned, I've had this, I'm going to say probably a good number of years. And that's the great thing is you don't necessarily have to um, go out and buy something. Look around your house. See what you have. Do you have something that maybe has just been sitting there and, you know, you can definitely spruce it up? Okay, so there is that. Let me move it over so I can bring in my design. So for my design, I thought that this one would be super, super cute. So I have this one. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and just, I think I already burnished this, but I do want to just double check in case I am remembering incorrectly here. Alrighty. So there is our design. Let me go ahead and bring back in my tray. And I do love this tray. Oh my goodness. 
if I remember correctly, Target had, they came out with, there was like a whole line. Actually, I have several in my kitchen. They had little, like, two-tier trays and um, rolly carts and all kinds of different fun things. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Now, what's interesting about this is that this is square, right? But the square portion inside, it looks like it's slightly askew. Um, but I'm going to do my best to make it as, let's see, as straight as possible. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so in the middle, and then work my way out. Oh my goodness, I love these. They're so quick. These projects are so, so quick. You know, think about all those... Um, those little gifts, you know what I mean, that you want to make for someone or, um, you know, you want to change up your design in your home. There's just, uh, just a number of different ways that you can go with this. Now, a lot of times I will use removable vinyl because I will want to, like knowing ahead of time, I will want to re kind of design it if you know what I mean like afterwards so after I've had a particular project for a while then I know I'll want to go and um, put on a different design so I tend to use removable vinyl quite a bit now this one here is permanent it is it's permanent smart vinyl let's see Okay, and that's good. Okay, let me go ahead and put this down. Now, I did see a few areas where I need to fix it because I see some bumps because this is a larger design. You're going to have more areas for potential air bubbles, but not a problem. Just go slow so that you can get it out there we go oh i see a little piece of there we go a little piece of wood there we go oh my goodness guys is that not adorable now just remember that if you do something like this the vinyl is not fda approved so don't put anything that's unwrapped as far as like food perishables things like that as long as it's covered it's fine keep it in the container keep it in the plastic whatever it might be but just don't put you know like um food out on top of the vinyl but isn't that adorable? You know what I'm thinking is maybe some pretty bow, um, ribbon bows on either side. I'm going to look through my through my ribbon and let me see if I can find something. I Something came to my mind, but let's see if I have something that might work. Okay, so for the next project, I am going to bring in this really pretty light wood um, pedestal stand, tray, whatever you want to call it. I believe these were from Target. And I can't remember, but it may have come in a set of two, a larger one and then a smaller one. So anyway, it has these really cute, chunky, chunky little legs. I love this. So I thought I would place something on there. So I've got this SVG. Again, I think it's from Creative Fabrica. So let's go ahead and see if I can get the paper transfer tape off. And then we will get, oh, you know what I should do? Let's not go too quickly here. I need to clean my blank. Clean it, clean it, clean it. I was trying to go ahead of the game, wasn't I? I was cutting out a step. Now, would it make or break the project? Probably not. Um, but if I remember to do it, that's exactly what I will do. Okay, let's clean that up. Okay, let's go ahead now and bring in our design and this has lots of letters little letters so I'm going to be extra careful and yes okay had to look at it several times to make sure that I was doing it correctly <laughs> okay let's go ahead and get this applied 
Oh my goodness, when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. This particular SVG came in a bundle. Um, I want to say there were like 10 different ones easily, and oh my goodness, one was just as sweet as the next. Okay, let's see here. I don't think I gave myself a lot of room on all the way around. So, okay, let's do the middle and then out. Oh my goodness. You know, again, it's the white with the light wood, the bamboo that looks just, just beautiful. Okay, I am all ready. I am all ready for gifts, for decorating, for everything. Let's hope I, I got all my letters. There we go. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove trouble. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that looks so pretty. Now, one thing I noticed here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see here. On the R, I didn't weed out that little itsy bitsy piece and guess what just like just like that it's gone okay oh my goodness how pretty is this honestly there's your decor piece I mean honestly this is just absolutely beautiful what do you think do you tend to like the white against the clear wood like I do okay so here is the next little um let me see my chair just went down <laughs> um here's my next little project I'm trying to think of where I got this oh I got this at the Dollar General that's right I was on my way to um, go to a doctor's appointment and I saw it and I'm like you know what let me go ahead and see what they have now I don't have one super super close to me so it's one of those stores that you know if I'm close to if it's close to my doctors or whatever that's when I go and check it out so I have this and it looks like it's a canvas in the back easily take it out and then I found this SVG that I thought was super super cute oh it's still on my weeding mat so I will just take that off let's go ahead and get my transfer tape on go okay let's go ahead and just burnish this bad boy down and let's remove Paper backing. Oh, that came up really nicely. Oh, perfect. Wow, I love when that happens. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this in. Let's see. I'm just going to just be mindful of the top. So there's the top. Let's see. All right. Oh, I got to move my chair. Sorry about that, guys. I'm working with a little bit of space here. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. I didn't give myself all that much room. Let me see. How does that look? Oh, that looks good. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. A nice pretty pink would have been nice, too. But I think for something like this, it's best to go with black. That way, no matter what your surrounding decor is, it'll, it'll match. Okay, so... All right. Oh my goodness. I love that. That came out so, so sweet. Oh my goodness. I love it. I was going to paint this white, but you know what? I was like, you know what? I think I like the light, light wood look to it. Oh, this came out so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up because I, my next project, my last project, is really extra large and I'm going to need all of the space that I can get on my table. So let me go ahead and get all cleaned up. Okay, so here is the last 
project and this one here just for size reference it's about 10 inches by 24 inches in length so it is quite large now I picked this up wow a very very long time ago from Target and at the time it was five dollars I should have purchased more of these but I only bought one and I've been waiting to do a project with this for such a long time so let's go ahead and remove very carefully the the wrapping from this sign then we'll get it all cleaned up okay look at how pretty that is now is this a chalkboard let me just see I'm reading the thing um, no it doesn't say chalkboard but it certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and get it nice and cleaned up. So I've got my alcohol. Okay. Nice and clean. Get it ready to receive the vinyl. That's another reason why we do this. It's not just to get it clean, which we obviously want to get it clean, but we also want to get our, our blank all ready for the vinyl. Okay, so here is that. Now I have this SVG that's quite large, so I'm going to have to do this in sections. And what I did was I combined two different SVGs. I do that a lot. I so like um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the paper backing and then we'll go ahead and get this place down. Oh my goodness, this came out really, really pretty. And actually, this was a lot less work than I thought it would be. This line art design, I absolutely love. It's not beautiful. And then here is the top. So, hello, spring. Let me do it this way. Maybe you can see some more of it. But didn't that come out super, super cute? I absolutely love this. All right, guys. Well, I really hope that this video gave you some sort of inspiration to go into your craft studio, your craft room, grab some of those blanks that you've been holding on to for a little bit because you love them so much. And let's start using them. Grab one. Let's think of perhaps maybe some gifts to give to a neighbor or a family member or whoever it might be. Um, just do little things that make you happy, whether it's for yourself or for someone else. And like I said, in this, this particular project here, this is something that I've had in my house for a number of years, for a while, and I just modified it for the very first time. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, guys, thank you so much. Your support goes an awful long way in helping my channel out. All right, guys, until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.